let me say a couple of things to you. If you listen to what was said when we talked about Obamacare, they wanted to repeal it and replace it with more government control. The government ain't got no business in health care. That belongs to the states. That's where it should, should remain, not with the government. The only person worthy of your vote is one that will support the Constitution 100% of the time and 100% of the Constitution. Not the pieces that they like, not the pieces that are agreeable, not the pieces that rub somebody else's back. Three men up here in this room have voted to allow the government to spy on you. Now you have an opportunity tonight when you shake their hand, ask them why did you allow the government to spy on me? Why did you vote for various forms of the Patriot Act? Why did you vote for indefinite detention? You deserve to know because it was a violation of at least your Fourth Amendment rights. Now, if 60, 70, or 15% of the time in standing for the Constitution is okay for you, go ahead and vote for one of them. Because I, I ain't got nothing for you, because I'm a 100% guy. Another gentleman that I was sad to find doesn't believe in campus carry. Now for me, the Second Amendment, the right to bear arms shall not be infringed. <laughs> That's being 100% on the Constitution. You have a choice. You can get rid of your blind spots and you can send a message to DC. You can send me. And when you send me, I want you to tell them that I'm coming. And what I'm bringing with me is 100% of the Constitution, 100% of the time. Mm -hmm.